Hi there, a quick demo on how to crop an image using CSS. So I've got um, just a placeholder image here and I, I've put it in a div. So the div is gonna sort of be the, the cropping tool in this case. Um, so over here, I just gave main a class of display flex so I could sort of center the content on the page. So we've got our kitten in the page, in the middle of the page. And let's style that div. So I gave it a class called square. I'm going to give it a width of 400 pixels and a height of, of 400 pixels. If you go look at it, it doesn't look like it's doing anything. It's shifted on the page, but if I hover over the square, you'll see that it just wants to be 400 by 400, but the cat is still showing outside of that box. So what we can do is um, we can say overflow hidden, and that will hide the rest. So we'll get the square kitten. Now there's some nuances to this. Um, right now I have a 600 by 400 kitten, but what if I have like an 800 by 700 kitten? I'm gonna end up getting a cropped picture. So this is where you're gonna have to kind of make, um, make a call. And it depends on if it's um, a vertically oriented or a horizontally oriented. So let's take a look at that. If I, um, so let's see, I'm gonna give it a, um, ah. I, um, oh yeah, I wanted to show you that you can turn on multiple columns with this little button here. So I can add as many as I want. I only want these two, but yeah, this is a great little tool. So you can see both at the same time. Okay, so uh, maybe I'll make one that's vertical and one that's um, horizontal so you can see the difference. Or I'll just, or is, okay. Um, let's copy this square. And then, so on one, so this is a, a horizontal or landscape image. So I should have probably just called it landscape, landscape. Um, I am not awake yet. And then this one I'm gonna call um, vertical. Eesh. Image. So this is on the image, not the div. So the div stays the same, depending, but the, um, the image class has to change. Okay, so this one, um, the one that I have 800 by 17, or 700 is, is horizontal. And so I wanna give the favor to the, um, to the height because um, what I'm really cropping here is the width. Um, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So for horizontal, I'm gonna say, um, make it a width, or sorry, make it a height of 100%. So I want it to take up 100% the height of that box. So let's look at that, that's the second one. And you can see that the cat seems pretty well centered in there. And if I mouse over that one, um, it looks like it's fitting pretty well. Um, and I haven't changed the orientation. So let's just see what happens if we give this one a width instead of a height width of 100%. So I, this one should be horizontal, but it's vertical. So what's happening here is that it's not 400 pixels high. When I inspect this, the box is 400 pixels. See that, but the um, it's it's favoring the width, so it's giving it it's it's fitting the image into that 100 percent width, which is 400. But then it's kind of shrinking the image to fit um, to fit that width. Um, so what I want is I want to change. So for this top image. Let's make it um, 600 by 700. So now the, the, the height is kind of um, bigger than the width. And then now we get a better centered image. Um, I hope this makes sense because I am super sleepy, but um, I guess the best tool is to play around with it a bit and just sort of see, um, see what makes sense. But basically you're, you're shrinking and expanding it to crop outside the box and you want to make sure that it's filling the box so it really depends on the orientation of the image. All right, thank you.